tell patient and manipulation was to just free uh, the bones so they could move better. And that's what's keeping his air infections away. Because his temporal bones are moving and his forgetting the term on this. His um the fluid is now able to drain from his ears so that he he doesn't get uh titus anymore. And I have documented this um through each of his visits. So his progress is documented on his chart. <laughs> Good. Maybe it's a view. And he's leaking, 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 leaking because he looks like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. I don't need to eat some now. Thank you for bringing him today. Yeah. 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 Carlos is moving more in depth my things now. Un cambio significante, Juan Carlos, ¿se puede ver la cámara como contaste? Ah, bueno, no, no exactamente así, ¿verdad? O sea, que he visto muchos cambios, muchos cambios, pero ah, no especialmente... Eh, 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 ha estado evolucionando muy así lentamente, pero está, está trabajando. No, no sé. What she noticed is that there's been a lot of changes, and every time they treat him, his changes keep improving and improving. That's what she's noticed. What is that he was, he was not able to sit up, and now he is? Since Dr. Villanova and Phyllis have been working on Carlos, we've noticed a great improvement every time they treat him. Um, his movements are getting better. And at first he was not able to sit up, and now he is. He's doing, he's grabbing the cup by himself now and drinking off the cup by himself. He fights with mom all the time. When she's trying to feed him, he was not able to get the food in his mouth. He was, um, Whenever she tried to feed him, and now he's able to, he wipes his mouth by himself. And he's talking more now. Before Dr. Villanueva and Philip treated him, he was like a vegetable. He would just lie there with his hands and his legs spread out. And he was not able to go to the bathroom, and he would not move. He would not be able to roll on his side. Either side, he's now able to move both hands and arms, and he's able to distinguish which arm to move. Oh. And say, for example, the left, he knows what his left is now and his right is now. And he smiles a lot now, and he makes a lot of funny noises that he was not able to do before. Moving his neck. So now the only thing that remains to be strengthened are his back muscles. And there's a lot of compression on his, in his pelvis, so that needs to be released a little more. And uh, mom does daily exercises with him in terms of arms and legs and how they play with him. So as soon as um, the leg muscles and um, the hip muscles get built up, he should have enough strength. He didn't. He was even more atrophied than this muscularly before I started with him. So he's starting to build up some strength here. 